The VIPs for today, the students, the year six students of Talipa Model School. Today, we celebrate you. Today, we want to celebrate your achievement in all aspects. Not just because at KMS, we don't just focus on academic, we focus on character, we, we focus on your growth as a, a person. And you definitely have all grown up. Some of you used to be this tall, now most of you are taller than me. Alright. <laughs> but, okay. So year six, this year actually is very, they, they are very special. They are a very special batch. Because this year is the first year that we combine supposedly two year five classes into one class. Initially, you know, parents have doubts. Students have doubts. Teachers have doubts. Can we do this? Well, we had to combine because of the constraint of the building. But when I saw it, I saw it as an opportunity for allowing a different kind of learning experience for our year six. That will enable them to do, you know, to learn more creatively, to do more project-based learning. To, that will enable the teachers to do more co-teachings. And I think, Alhamdulillah, from what I see, from what I have observed, Alhamdulillah, that was a good decision. Don't you think so, Year 6? Initially, you were worried, right? Ah, sitting in flip chairs only, or sometimes using the rehal, but that allowed you, the flexibility of moving around, of working together in groups, small groups and big groups. So that enabled you to have creative learning. And you all are very creative. <coughs> and um, so for this, I would like to acknowledge all the year six in front of me for taking up that challenge that we had early in the year. Congratulations. You made it through. You are the first back, the pioneer of having this kind of setting. And I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the teachers of the year six for this year. Thank you, teachers. So many things, you know, uh, apa tu? Uh, I mean, the WhatsApp group does not work. The WhatsApp group is, is uh, full of, um, you know, uh, negative things. But at Khalifa Model School, MashaAllah, it's so peaceful. Not only that. <laughs> it's not only just peaceful. I love, I'm in there. I, but I just don't want to interrupt you guys. But I love the camaraderie, the, the, the strong relationship, how you... You all tease each other. You all make dua for each other's child. You support uh, the students' activities. MashaAllah. I really, really love the Year 6 WhatsApp group. Parents WhatsApp group. Salute to all of Year 6 parents. So, um, as a result, we see that this graduation today is jointly organized by the parents and also the teachers of Khalifa Model School and I would like to take the opportunity to thank the disjoint and I would also I must also say this is the one of the saddest graduation day for me why because I will say goodbye to some very committed parents who've been supporting the school from the first child to the second child to the third child some to the fourth child some will be leaving us 
I will miss them. The school will miss them. The teachers will miss them. They know who they are. Oh, is it okay that I mention some names? And I would like to apologize if I miss any names. But um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Sister Shasha. I'm, I'm sorry, fathers. I'm very close to the mothers, so yeah. But so you come together with the package, okay? <laughs> but usually it's the mothers who volunteer. I would like to thank Sister Shasha, Mother of Sarah Mariam. I would like to thank Sister Ayn, Mother of. Oh, sorry. Sister Shasha, Mother of Sarah Mariam, Mother of uh, Asidi, Mother of. Something? Zofia, yes, tiga orang, eh? And then I, uh, Sister Ayn, Mother of. Uh, Aidan Aymar Ivy <laughs> and Sister Farida, mother of Adam Sulaiman, uh, Sister Riri. Uh, and then Brother Ashadi, I can mention because he, <laughs> he appears a lot at school. <laughs> okay, mother of um, Sania and apa? Masha. Ah, Masha. Okay, sorry, itulah rem dah kurang lah sekarang. Okay, tapi anyway. Um, Sister Kim, um, Mother of Daniel, Sister um, Amira, Mother of Aiden Iman, Sister Rini, Mother of Aish and Sister Shomi dah, Sister Shomi dah, dah ramai dah banyak batch and Sister Farida, Mother of Alicia, Sister, um, siapa lagi ya? Ada lagi kot, tapi ada a few more, many more actually ni. Tapi these are the, the names that uh, I, I come up to me often because they don't just uh, volunteer uh, for events, they volunteer for recess duties formally. I would like you to leave today, I would like you to leave Khalifah Model School with this story. Okay? I hope you remember this story for life because I'm about to share with you the story of a 13-year-old boy that I would like you to model after. Okay, you want to hear the story? Alright. Uh, this story is about uh, a sahaba whose name was Fa'labah Ibn Abdurrahman. Have you heard of him? He was a 13 year old boy who was the messenger or the errand boy. I mean, some narrations say he's, he was 16, but some uh, the narration that I read said he was 13. He was the messenger boy of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So at that time, there's no you know FedEx, there's no apa uh, JNT kan <laughs> to deliver letters ke barang-barang ke kan. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will call Thalabah, Thalabah come, you deliver this for me to so and so. So that was his job, and he was so happy doing it for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Until one day, Rasulullah SAW called him and asked him to deliver something to one of the other sahabah. So, Thaklabah came, he took that thing and was on his way. It was a windy day. He ran, he ran and ran and ran far away. He ran outside of the city of Medina, he ran to the hills. He ran and hid himself and never to be seen again. Sekaligus merasmikan Majlis Graduasi Murid Tahun 6 Khalifah Model School Sesi 2023-2024 Dengan segala hormatnya, persilakan Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 
Ibrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa manuwal Yang dihormati kepada Kepada Syubi 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 Yang lama saya dah tak berjumpa Dan mendengar ucapan yang bentar tadi Memberi inspirasi Puan Awam Governor Dato' Musa Omar dan Dr. Baitul Zakaria dan seterusnya kepada barisan ibu ayah tenaga pengajar yang bersama pada hari ini anak-anak ini dibekalkan dengan kemahiran alhamdulillah lillazi anzala ala abdihi alkitab wa lam yaj'al lahu aywaja bersyukur kepada Allah yang pertama tapi bersyukur itu kalau anak-anak ini dibekalkan dengan dengan alkitab yang diturunkan kepada hamba-Nya Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mereka lagi bersyukur Kemahiran berfikir mereka akan jadi lebih tinggi Kemahiran berperasaan mereka ya, Biasa di peringkat sekolah Dia cakap tentang higher order thinking Tetapi kalau dalam Al-Quran Dia bukan higher order thinking sahaja Higher order emotion Perasaan mereka akan menjadi Amat strong, jadi seperti Orang umur 30-40 tahun Tetapi masih berumur 12 tahun Itu rahsianya Itulah rahsia Sa'ad Labah yang menangis sebentar tadi Itu gaya orang 40-50 tahun bila berbuat dosa yang menangis dan menangis dan menangis Itu gaya orang 40-50 tahun Umur 12-30 tahun Sepatutnya ialah generalnya di dalam surah Al-Kahfi Allah keluarkan satu contoh pemuda Kerana apa? Kerana pemuda biasanya dia kurang kurih Memang waktu inilah waktu untuk main gadget Masa untuk nak famous Nak try sana, nak make up sana Setebal mungkin, kalau boleh saya Nak selfie pada setiap masa Untuk beritahu kawan bahawa saya ada Rantai baru, jam baru Ini adalah masanya Dan Allah rakamkan psikologi ini Dalam surah Al-Hadid ya, Dalam surah Al-Hadid tentang psikologi Tentang suka bermain Suka berhias, suka menampak Nampakkan kepada orang lain Inilah anak umur 12-13 tahun tuan-tuan. Dan anak-anak sekalian Kalau rasa ter, ter Puja untuk rasa nak tunjukkan Pada kawan saya, ada iPhone Saya ada baju baru, saya ada sijil baru Itu adalah naluri Yang Allah rakamkan dalam surah Al-Hadid Yang kita tidak boleh nafikan kerana Allah dah tirap Psikologi ataupun developmental psikologi Bagi seorang manusia Tetapi kalau kita rujuk kepada Al-Quran Surah Al-Hadid tersebut, insya Allah ada ada solusi kepada kepada perkara ini. Ayat dalam Surah Al-Hadid ayat 15-16 itu bercerita tentang tentang budaya konsumerisme yang memang berlaku di di mana-mana sahaja. Jadi tuan-tuan yang dimati Allah sekalian, harapnya pada majlis berani pada hari ini dengan kehadiran tuan-tuan, harapnya pada anak-anak kita belajar untuk bersyukur dan kita terus mendalami cara bersyukur dengan sentiasa merujuk kepada ilmu dan ilmu yang paling tinggi adalah daripada al-Quran. Jadi makin lagi belajar sains selepas ini, belajar lagi pelbagai perkara di sekolah dengan cari ilmu itu sebanyak mungkin. Pasal di dalam surah al-Kahfi itu Allah nyatakan malam bihi ail, Allah menegur kepada satu kumpulan yang mereka itu tidak ada ilmu sampai membawa kepada idea materialisme. Mereka belajar ilmu, ya, belajar ilmu, belajar ilmu Tetapi rupanya dia ambil ilmu yang ter, terpisah daripada Daripada ketauhidan kepada Allah Menyebabkan budaya materialisme itu Budaya mementingkan dunia atas akhirat itu Diutamakan dalam dalam kehidupan Ibu ayah yang menjadi harapan Dan harapan kepada semua pelajar yang ada Langkah baru bermula Kalau di US tak dinamakan graduation ataupun convocation Ketika saya graduate dahulu Mereka namakan sebagai commencement Iaitu langkah baru bermula Baru cikgu lepaskan Lepaskan ke mana? Ke sekolah menengah Dan sekolah menengah nanti pun akan ada lagi commencement Untuk pergi universiti baru dilepaskan Dan dilepaskan Dan bila dilepaskan daripada universiti Itu adalah saat mencabar tidak ada lagi ustaz, tidak ada lagi cikgu menegur dan pada waktu itu siapakah yang menegur? Sa'ad Labah pernah ditegur oleh Nabi tapi kerana mendapat kematangan awal umur 13-15 itu dah berani dan belajar menegur sendiri anak-anak sekalian harapnya belajar untuk menegur diri sendiri ke hadapan silap, mungkin silap tapi jangan silap untuk memilih 
Dan kita doakan agar anak-anak sekalian Terus belajar ilmu syukur Dengan lafaz Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Saya merasmikan dengan lafaz Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kita selalu bergantung kepada Allah Dengan lafaz Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kita mohon Allah Terus berkati kepada anak-anak ini Dalam perjalanan Menuju kepada Allah SWT Dan mohon Allah berkati Majlis ini Dan majlis ini adalah Langkah bermula untuk anak-anak semua Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for the good you shared with us. Allahumma'a.